<laughs> this week, we're going to be taking on Lois Griffin, that Family Guy star. So, how are we going to achieve a Lois Griffin voice? Let's find out. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Philip Green Show. Lois Griffin is the star of Family Guy. She is one of the five members of the family that is incredibly important. First we're going to be working on the voice and then we're going to move on to buzzwords. Then we're going to gander over to mannerisms and then finally we're going to have a look at how we're going to achieve the look and the makeup of Lois Griffin. Hey there. Lois Griffin has an incredibly nasal voice. All of her sound is made up in your sinus folds. This is where Lois Griffin's voice is born. Now, when Lois Griffin speaks, she has a siren. She goes from low to high to low to high, all the way through, it's very melodic. She has no bass to her voice. With Lois Griffin, it's not about the bass. It's all about that high frequency that's gonna really, really piss people off. How you're going to get that Lois Griffin voice is you are going to use a wicked witch laugh, like <laughs> really pushing it forward and out into people's faces. It's not quite a Judge Judy impression like New York, but it is very much a Lois Griffin, so you're gonna push everything forward. You know, you're gonna come here. Ah, ah. It's all here in the front of the nose and the sinuses. She has a massive nose, which is gonna help you imagine pushing everything forward and out over the top. Hey there. So Lois Griffin has a few buzzwords. For example, she has Alpina. And there's a variation on that, which she often uses, which is Ha ha, Peter. One of my favorite sayings that she has is the side ball bower, which is a very crescendo. It's gonna get bigger. So she's gonna start really, really small and go the side ball bower. And you get louder and more nasal and more aggy. Let's take old Peter, for example. So, oh, Peter. You're not really gonna pronounce the T because it's not very strong. So it's more of a D. It's Peter, Peter and it helps to really tighten your nostrils here and tighten all of this capacity. So you go, ow, Peter, ow, Peter, Peter. So moving on to mannerisms. What does Lois Griffin have that is a crazy mannerism? Well, first of all, she's a cartoon character with an extremely big nose. So one thing that you can do is use your nose and push it forward. I often do that. Also, if you look at the cartoon character picture of her, she has a bigger topper lip than the bottom. Use that top lip and use that nose and go, Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. <laughs> the cyber bower. She has incredibly large eyes, like myself. But it's very important to try and open your eyes as wide as possible. Yes, she is a cartoon character. Yes, it's going to be impossible, but it really does help. She's very animated, obviously, because she's a drawing. Hey there. How are you going to achieve that Lois Griffin look? Well, Lois Griffin is easy because she wears the same thing all of the time. She wears a green shirt, tan pants. Then she also has some horrible burgundy dolly shoes. She has blue earrings and some orange hair. I will link you to the description below where I bought all of my stuff so I can do a Lois Griffin impression. She also has a matte red lipstick. And that's basically it. You can also contour your nose and make it very, very thin and even elongate it down here by contouring here as well. But that is up to you. And that is how you achieve a Lois Griffin voice. And look, great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out the other videos in the different playlists. My social media is in the description box below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I will be uploading these every week here on The Philip Green Show. Goodbye. Peter, the cyber bower.